Hello and welcome to it and another lecture on basic electrical engineering. Myself Kutitola, Assistant Professor of Dr. Shudhir Chandra Shudhi Engineering College, Electrical Engineering Department. Till now we have learned how DC is formed, what is resistance, capacitance and inductance and along with their mathematical relay, mathematical expression and the units formed by the Ohm's law. We are also known about the followed by the Ohm's law, that Ohm's law conception and then conception of the ground potential to find the solution of a circuit using Ohm's law. So today we know about the series and parallel connection of a network. So let's start. So you all have the idea about the series and the parallel connection of a system or of a network. Let's we start first the series connection. First we start with the series connection. Let us take a voltage is V and a resistance is R1 and R2. Allow a current to flow through the circuit is I. Let's take it in that way. This is the positive part of the voltage. This is the negative part of the voltage. So current will start from the positive part means from here and it will rooted to this part, it is rooted to this part and come back to the negative one in order to complete a network. This is the general conception of how a current is completed circuit. Now, what there are different types of conception in order to solve a problem, but if you follow that particular rule, a single rule, it will solve all the problems of the numerical problems related to the circuits. So there are different types of rules, but just follow that single rule. So let us take this resistance. The current that is I that is start that is started to flow from that positive half of the voltage and come back to the negative half of the ground potential. It started to flow in that direction and when just follow that particular resistance when it entered to the resistance means this part here it is entering and here it is leaving from the resistance so make this part positive where the current is entering just put positive there uh, to a resistance and when a current is leaving a resistance just give negative here same when this same amount of current is or the current is entering in this resistance r2 in that particular area it is given is positive and when the current is leaving just given a negative sign here just follow that particular part so let us the voltage is here v1 and the voltage is here v2 so start writing from here this is the plus v start writing from here this is a plus v so write v now rooted through that circuit, just going to that. We have no, we, we are now knowing that how we can give the sign, the plus and the minus sign. To that, 
two points of a resistance where the current is entering is the positive that part of the resistance and where the current is leaving that part is negative this is how we can give the plus or the minus sign across the resistance now just concentrate on how we just calculate the voltage so this is v we are starting with the positive half ah, this one is v now going to that only consider the leaving side only now where when we are drop down the voltages or we are writing down the equations of the voltages only con after giving all the signs plus sign and the minus sign just consider only on the leaving side of the resistance from where the current is leaving the current is leaving for the resistance r1 from here and what is the sign the sign is minus so write down minus v1 i am just concentrate on the for a particular resistance i am just concentrating at that part where the current is leaving the resistance now for that particular part the current is that is the current i is leaving from here the current i is leaving from here the current i is leaving the what is the value is it is the minus so write down minus v2 now this same amount of current is routed here i and it is come here what is the potential at that particular instant it is zero the ground potential so you can write that is equal to zero or v equal to g1 plus v2 so replace that entire circuit then equivalent circuit so enter resistance can be replaced by an equivalent resistance so it is written as r equivalent it is written as r equivalent eq this is the voltage v this is the current i that is flowing the circuit and it is coming back as a i in that particular circuit so we can write v equal to i r v means there is a voltage difference v minus g same here v1 minus g okay there is a v minus g so we can write v equal to same current i or i equivalent so what is the value of v1 v1 is i into r1 and what is the v2 plus v2 equal to i into r2 so what is the r equivalent the r equivalent of the series connection that we have obtained is r1 plus r2 only the summation of the resistance if there are n number of resistance so we can write r equivalent equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 of a series connection that all the resistance are sama in order to find the equivalent resistance of a of a series connection so we have know how we can symbol the plus and the minus sign across a resistance when the current is entering to a resistance is given the plus sign for a particular resistance and when the current is leaving that particular resistance it will give the negative sign and while writing down the equations of the voltages so it is given that the only we have to consider the 
part where the current is leaving for a particular resistance and that particular sign we have to give here it is minus v1 here it is minus v2 plus v it is starting from the plus v it is minus v1 minus v2 and it has come back to the ground condition equal to zero this is the conception of series connection when the n numbers of resistance are connected in series summation of the all resistance are the equivalent resistance of the series connection now let us let us take the parallel connection Current new and same in case of the series connection, but in case of the parallel connection, the voltage remains same. Means that two part, say this portion and this portion are connected. Means the both the resistance are connected to the same potential. Are connected to the same potential. Say V. That's uh, that is the R one say, and that is the Allow a current to flow allow a current I to flow in that particular part. So at that point the I is divided into two parts. So this part is taking I1 current. So this part is taken I minus I1. So it is clear that in case of the series connection, the current remains same, but the voltage is divided. But in case of the parallel connection, the voltage remains same and the current is divided. The number of resistance is there, the current is divided in n number. So at that point, this I1 is this I1 current is approaching towards this point, and here the I minus I1 is approaching. So what is the current at that summing point? Current at the summing point is I1 plus I minus I1. So if I nullify that, the value is I. So this I amount of current is coming back to the voltage source. This is known as parallel connection. This is known as parallel connection. Now the voltage remains same, but the current that is divided into the two parts. So from that particular junction. I can write that total current I that is divided in the two parts that is I1 plus I minus I1. You can write. So the I, so let us take an equivalent circuit just take an equivalent circuit of voltage V and I is flowing and this equivalent resistance R back to the voltage same amount of current which is I. So we can write I that is V by R equivalent what is the I1? I1 can be written as the voltage across the two points remain same that is say this point is A and this point is B the voltage at the two point remain same that is the is 
3. So, V by R1, that is the I1. Voltage, I1 is the current going through R1. Voltage at that A and B point is V. So, that is V by R1. So, what is I minus I1? The voltage at that point A and B also. I minus I1 is the current going through the resistance R2. So, voltage difference is between the A and the B point is V. So, V by A point. So, why, how, how we can calculate the voltage difference? Say, this A point is at potential V and this B point is at potential 0. So, that is V minus 0 equal to V. Is that potential at that A point is V and potential at the B point is ground potential 0. So, V minus 0 equal to V. So, V minus 0 equal to V. So, V by R2. So, we can write the R equivalent. 1 by R equivalent equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. This is the value of the equivalent resistance of the alarm connection. The equivalent resistance can be written R equivalent equal to the multiplication of the two resistance that is R1 R2 and the summation of the two resistance that is R1 plus R2. That is the multiplication of the two resistance divided by the, divided by the summation of the two resistance. So, Question will arise that what is the value of the current I1? That is the current flowing through the branch R1. In order to find the value of current, in order to find the value of the current I1. Find the value of the current I1. That is I1. What is the value of the current I1? I1, the total current that is I, multiplying by the say I1 current is flowing through the resistance R1. So the two resistances are connected in parallel. So we have to concentrate on the resistance at the opposite arm means R2 divided by the total resistance that is R1 plus R2. That is R1 plus R2. Same in case of the I2 that is the current going through the resistance. current flowing through the resistance I2 or the I minus I1 which is same it is the current flowing through the resistance R2 which is the total current I multiplying by the resistance at the opposite side opposite arm that is R1 divided by the total resistance R1 plus R2 This is the way that we can find the value of I1 and I2. So if n numbers of resistance are connected in parallel, the equivalent resistance will be 1 by R3, say n number. Conception of finding the equivalent distance of in number of resistance that is connected in there. So the basic thing is that in case of the series connection, the current remains same 
but the voltage are divided. But in case of the parallel connection, the voltage remains same in a circuit, but the currents are divided. So, let us take. Another part is that how we can consider which one is a parallel connection and which one is a series connection. So let's take this resistance. Two resistance so, R one and R two. How you can so this is R one and this is R two. So how you can permit how you can say that these resistance are connected in parallel or these resistance are connected in series. How we can see that these resistance are connected in series and these resistance is connected in parallel. In order to say that the parallel or the series must be with respect to something, with respect to something I am saying that yes, this is a parallel connection or those are parallel or those are six series. So with respect to what? With respect to the voltage source. If I connected the voltage source here, the voltage source V. Let us take the current equation. The current value say I. And now it is divided into the two parts. So this is I one and this is i minus i1 so what is the summation at that point the summation at that point is this current is rooted through that particular part i minus i1 this is i1 is coming down from here so i1 plus i i1 plus i minus i1 so it will be the i value so i is coming back to the ground potential as until is computed so now that we can say that the potential at the two points so this point is a and this point is b and this is the ground potential is central ground so the potential of the two point same as b and the current is divided so we can say that this is a parallel connection now we can comment that this is a parallel connection we can comment that this is a parallel connection now the same connection I just put the voltage source at that particular instant. Same connection is there. Same connection, I just put the voltage source there. Okay. So this one R1, this one R2, this is V. The same connection. Let's take and that is going I it is rooted that through that particular part same amount of current is coming back to the voltage source of the I so here the current remains same only there is a difference in the voltage say this one is the V 
given again entering part is positive leaving part is negative entering part is positive of a, for, for a particular resistance and the leaving part is negative that we have done this is the video so only there is a difference in the voltage so that the current remains same the voltage is divided so we can write this in series connection so we have seen that for a particular same connection depending upon the position of the voltage source you can comment that this circuit is a parallel connection and this circuit is a series connection only depending upon the voltage source that is the with respect to the voltage source we can comment that this circuit is a this circuit is a series one and this circuit is a parallel one so what we have learned today about the series and the parallel connection so series connection means the voltage will be divided but the, throughout the circuit but the current will remain same through the circuit but in case of the parallel connection the voltage is remain same and the current will be divided along the resistance and also we have also seen that depending upon the position of the voltage source means with respect to voltage source we can comment that which circuit is series one and which circuit is parallel one thank you